Hi, I'm Maya, the mysterious wandering librarian, and today I'm going to be talking about winter solstice. Winter solstice is a holiday that most people don't celebrate in the U.S. On the day of winter solstice, we are tilted as far away from the sun as possible, which means the sun's path across the sky is as low in the sky as it can be. It also means that winter solstice is the shortest day of the year. Winter solstice is also called the hibernal solstice. Winter solstice is important because it marks the symbolic death and rebirth of the sun. The gradual warning of daylight hours is reversed and begins to grow again. Some ancient monuments as such as Newgrave, Stonehenge, and Woodhenge are aligned with the sunrise or sunset on winter solstice. Winter solstice occurs on December 21st or December 22nd for the northern hemisphere. For the southern hemisphere, it occurs on June 20th or June 21st. Many cultures and religions celebrate winter solstice, but the pagan celebration of winter solstice, also known as Yule, is one of the oldest celebrations in the world. Yule, the ancient Norse man and Sca Scandinavian celebration. Yule is from the winter solstice through January. In recognition of the return of the sun, fathers and sons would bring home large logs, which became known as Yule logs. They would set one end on, of these logs on fire. Modern spiritual communities, including Christian and pagan ones, continue to celebrate the solstice in a metaphysical transition from darkness into light. The solstice or Yule is one of the eight season holidays central to the earth-based teachings of the covenant of Unitarian Universalist pagans. Winter solstice is important to my family because we get to hang out with each other as family time and we have a lot of fun together. And we also celebrate Christmas. Just because you celebrate winter solstice doesn't mean you also can't celebrate Christmas. It's a fun family gathering which you can have fun with your family. For us, the winter solstice is the start of the new year because each day after that gets longer and longer until June. I want to leave you with these last two facts. As well as marking the shortest day of the year, winter solstice marks the first day of winter in the astronomical calendar, which in the meteorological calendar, we already are three weeks into winter. And the last thing I want to share with you is, you probably already know that the day of winter solstice marks the shortest day of the year. But did you know it's almost nine hours shorter than the longest day of the year? The summer solstice is, in June is just short of 16 hours and 38 minutes long, while the day of the winter solstice is the length of 7 hours and 50 minutes long. Thank you for joining with me and listening to me talk about winter solstice.